Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Study the women you encounter. Study the women you encounter. I'm gonna tell you what, that's a key part of the game. Because you know what? A key thing that men who are successful with women, whether it's being with multiple women or just finding that right woman, one thing, or, you know, right women over and over being a serial monogamous, which, you know, that's some player stuff really. But the thing is, they study women. They have an understanding of women. You know, Sun Tzu would say, if you know your enemy and you know yourself, you need not fear the results of 100 battles. If you know yourself and you know women, you need not fear the results of 100 seductions, you know? And let me be clear with that. That just means you're going to be confident going into it because you understand who you're dealing with. Now, of course, every woman is going to be, um, you know, they're going to have their own nuances, their own personality. But if you start dealing with enough women, you have a general understanding of how women respond to you. And, and let me go. Let me go on a tangent real quick. It wasn't the subject of this, but I always understand that woman needs to, you need to know how women in general respond to you. So you got to know yourself first. Because if you, okay, say if you got dogged out, rejected by 20 women, and a lot of dudes uh, blame the women, uh, the only thing those women had in common was you. So what was it within you? If you figure that out, then you can change a lot of stuff. You got to change within. Because you the only thing they have in common. The only thing, you know, because even them all being women, some of them, they, they got different issues. What did I talk about yesterday? They got different natures, different things they looking at. But the only thing they will have in common is you. So what is it about you? That's why I've told guys, if you've got another women, okay, what did you do to get them? Okay, repeat it. Boom. See, every man should know exactly what it is about him, and then he can work to change it. But... That's, like I said, that's a tangent. But if you really want to understand women, you need to talk to them. You need to encounter them. And that what you see online. Let me, because a lot of guys be watching videos, this woman did this and that. And yeah, you can get some perspective, but it's different from when a woman, you in the presence of a woman. See, when you're in the presence of a woman, how does she look at you? How does she look at you? How close does she stand? What's the tone of her voice when she is speaking with you? You know? And then you're studying her personality, even if it's not dealing with you, because it could be a totally friend situation, right? How is this woman behaving that you're that you're in the presence of? How is she like it, it you know what? It could be you're near, you just watching a woman. Like she's in the same place, she's with a man. How's she acting? Pay attention to that. Like, especially every time you go out with a woman, record stuff. Every time a woman stop and talk with you, record it. And when I mean record it, do it in your mind. I remember an ex-girlfriend I had. She, she even joked about it, cause she said, yeah, Ron, you got that computer in your head. You'd be like, doo -doo 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 -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. And it's funny, she knew me well enough to know that. Cause seriously, I be checking out every, every time I encounter a woman. Like a direct encounter, especially we get to talk. I'm like, okay, she's slim. Okay, she pretty. You know, is she? She got fat butt. Is she a butterface? I'm like, okay, how's she acting and all of that, especially with regard to me. But then even when you see you're around that woman, you know she got a boyfriend somehow. She treating him and everything. See, I'm gonna tell you what. Understanding a woman is a key to getting them. Key to getting them. You know what? Let me read something. Let me read something. It's from this book, uh, Smart Women, Foolish Choices. It was published back in 1986. It's a powerful book. I said, I'm going to put a link for it in the description box. A lot of stuff. This was in the 80s. This was written in the 80s. These are two clinical psychologists that wrote this. It was published in 86, which means they started giving the information. Probably it could have been as far back as the late 70s that they started engaging and they start uh, accumulating the information. You'll find a lot of stuff that people think is new being talked about in these uh, YouTube spaces. 
they were talking about here. So check out something. Now they talked about the guy that people would call, uh, now they would call him Chad or, you know, I'll call him Mr. Goodbar, that player type, right? Let me read something. Let me just read something about this. All right, he said, let's face it. All too often we find the rat, they call him the rat, the rat to be a charming character. Throughout history, the rake or the rogue has been romanticized, and even today, both men and women ascribe special powers and talents to him. Furthermore, there's a double standard that exists because of our sexist upbringing. Women who have a bad reputation are not seen as desirable, whereas a man with a bad reputation is often an object of intrigue and fascination. Let's be real. Let's be real. People both love and hate players. I'm adding that party. Anyway, many women are thus drawn to this type of man despite the inherent dangers because the rat is such a conquest, a real badge of victory for the woman. You know what I read that part? Because what did I say? Women love a challenge. Women love a challenge. I told them on my woman's channel, I said, yeah, I got to get over that challenge thing because I usually lose, All right? But they want that. Some men make it too easy for women. But I want you, I want to see who peeps what I just said. Anyway, the foremost talent possessed by the rat is his highly developed understanding of women. He has studied the nature of his subjects so thoroughly that he knows them well, at least those aspects that are relevant to him. He's no Claude. In fact, he may, may be more intuitive and sensitive and sensitive than most other men. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me, let me go on a tangent with that because you get some guys who try to go against, you know, the guys they call Chad or Tyrone, the players, the select F boys and stuff, right? These men understand women better than the guys ain't getting. This is from clinical psychologists. That's why they get them. <laughs> That's the main thing. Shoot, if you know yourself, and you know the women, you need not fear the results of a hundred seductions. If you understand women, shoot. That's why I'm telling y'all stuff, I understand women. That's why I've never been played. I mean, you know what you're dealing with. And definitely I would have a link for this is in the description box. But here's the thing. Anybody can develop that. Just pay attention. See, a lot of guys, I'm gonna tell you something now that's stupid in my opinion. A lot of guys don't wanna listen to women. No, always listen. The issue is don't always follow, but always listen. Even when some stuff might sound like bullshit, still record it. Now, here's the key. See, sometimes when people say, oh, don't listen to women. No, you listen to everybody. You always listen. I learned this from my uncle who uh, rest his soul was a police detective. He used to clean, he used to clear cases at a phenomenal rate because he'd just get somebody in there and get them talking. He would just listen. You always listen to a woman. There's another seduct. Well, I'll give you the seduction piece with a woman. I'll just give it to you. If you just listen, this is this don't have nothing to do, this is a tangent off of the main subject of this video. But if you listen to a woman, just let her don't solve her problem, just let her talk, let her get whatever is on her mind off. She becomes more relaxed. She becomes more relaxed. She becomes easier to arouse. Boom. She's relaxed. Her defenses are down. She feels comfortable. Boom. You can arouse her. You can tap that ass. Remember that. But getting back to the main subject, always study them. Listen to them. Pay attention to their behavior. Pay attention. And don't just focus on the negative stuff. Focus on both bad and good. You know, even though I don't go in on women, trust me, I know I know some of the stuff women will do better than some guys who are going in on them all the time because I pay attention. I talk to women. Women share stuff with me. I know how to get them comfortable and stuff. And I'm studying them. I'm paying attention every single every single to this minute. Every single time I encounter a woman, she does something. I see her hanging out with a certain type of guy. I see what they're doing. I listen to what they're doing and everything. Boom. And I'm gonna tell you something now, cause some people say, well, they might be capping and stuff. Um, here's a trick, here's a trick. Even if a woman's lying, think about what she's lying about. If you think she's lying, if you really think she's lying, think, okay, what's she lying about though? Or what is she not saying? 
See, let's learn to listen, learn to pay attention, learn to observe, and you can learn everything you need to learn. And especially if, especially in regard to how they respond to you, because you can learn a lot. You can learn a lot, even when they talk, even when they're not even telling you the truth, okay, what they ain't saying. You know, especially if you ask a direct question or how they avoid it or how they say it. Pay attention how they look at you. Learn to listen, learn to communicate. How they, what's their body language when they're saying it? What's the tone of voice when they're saying it? And it takes practice. It takes practice and stuff because when, here's a thing, here's a general thing anybody can do. Listen to what they say, but pay attention to their actions. And if they match, boom. But if they don't match, okay, how come they don't match? All right, it look like she's lying or I see her doing something else. Okay, why is she lying to me? You know, or is she lying to a group? You know, and if she telling the truth, okay, she telling me the truth. How does she see me to tell the truth? Like, for example, as a general thing, if a woman talks sex around you, if she freely talks sex around you, she's being pretty honest. Because we live in a culture where, uh, you know, women, they look down upon if they uh, express their true sexual nature. So if they express that around you or even give you a clue to it, that says how she sees you. See, one thing with nice guys, a woman will always be nice around them. They ain't going to show them they have any interest in sex. But if they check you out or something, shoot, they going to be a little flirting or something or say something. They might even tell you. It might be some woman, she said, oh, yeah, I love doggy style. Or like a <laughs> one woman, I remember one woman. I was telling her, I was actually telling her freely about a woman I was dealing with. And I was capping when I said this. I said, and I'll tell you how I was capping. I said, yeah, I don't know about getting my dick sucked. And this woman I'm dealing with, she don't do it right. My cap was that she didn't do it right. The woman could have gave, could have gave seminars on how to do it correctly. But I was in seduction mode and throwing something out for the other woman just to catch her reaction and stuff. And she was like, oh, she just don't know how to do it right. Boom. A few months later, she gave the first woman to run for her money. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I got some stuff with me. I just don't share it publicly. And I don't even, let, I don't even allow people to pay for it. I got to know you real well before I share stuff. <laughs> so it just is. It just is. And stuff. I'm like that. So don't hit me up. Say, hey, can you teach me? No. Uh, if I don't know you personally. If I can't hang out with you, if I can't share some stuff with you, forget it. I, and I got my reasons for keeping some things to just an inner circle. I got my reasons. So, y'all don't worry about it. But anyway, study the women you encounter every time. You can learn much, especially study how they responded to you. Like I said, if you got women constantly rejecting you, it's something within you. These women don't know each other, and you can figure it out. In fact, some women, you might get an odd, brutally honest woman to even tell you, you know? Like if they rejecting you, okay, what kind of clothes were you wearing? How did you speak to them? What was your voice tone? You know, what was your body build? What was your grooming and stuff? Because that's the only thing they had in common. You study that, that's a basic thing. But then just study them in general. Even if you ain't trying to get with a woman, just sit down, get her comfortable, you know? And you get her comfortable by not looking like you're judging what she's saying and let her just talk. You know, if she says she had trains ran on her 17 times, you just be, you just look at her like she just said, uh, you know, a certain team going to win the national championship in basketball. Or she talking about the way, no, nah, let's put it like that. Look at it like she just said, oh, it look like it's about to rain. It's obvious. And like, what you going to do? You Oh, wow. No, you're going you to be like, hmm. seriously. In fact, this the look that you have. She'd be like, yeah. I done had 17 trains ran on me. Just look at her like, yeah, you want to get something to eat someplace real quick? <laughs> I'm serious. Just be cool with it, all right? So anyway, study the women you encounter. Definitely check out this book. A link is in the description box. You'll find this book that was published in 1986, which means the research is coming from probably the, at least the 70s, starting in the 70s, right? Um, check it out. 
check it out, you'd be like, damn, they saying the same things we saying, we just use different terms. You know, ain't nothing new about all of this. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.